Aloha, what is up everyone? Back after a short break. I uh, had to take a few weeks off of the Pugly project back here. Um, had two vehicles I had to get out of here, or two projects. Uh, one was, um, was a Tahoe Police Pursuit vehicle. Um, I actually bought it to do a project, but then I changed my mind because I have so much going on. So I had to clean it up and get it sold. I'll put a picture up of it right here um, so you can see what it was. And then, so I got that cleaned up, sold. Um, and then I had my F-250, had all these little projects, basically started out as the, the rear fuel tank was leaking. So once I took the bed off, all these other, one project turned into 10 projects, you know how that goes. So that was taking my time up for about three weeks. But I finally got that buttoned up, finished that up two days ago. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna get back on Pugly. Uh, so a couple updates um, today. Uh, we're going to get the cab tipped and then check the injectors um, because sometimes people change them. The, it's, it should have the 400, 445 horsepower injectors, but it's pretty easy to put like 500 or whatever, 550 horsepower injectors. So we're going to see what it has. We're going to check the numbers on it. And then I'm also doing the final measuring for my Alcoas. So I'm trying to get those ordered up in the next week or two. We'll see what happens there. But uh, let me get the cab tipped and then we'll pull one of the covers. I think we're, we're going to pull the passenger side cover off of the engine and see what the injectors say. Okay, let's get started. Okay, got the cab up. Uh, only takes a minute or two. So here's the 8V92. Uh, I guess I'll show you a little bit of the engine. Um, I don't know if you can make it out. Here's the, here's the engine tag. Let's see if I can zoom in. Wait, there we go. So yeah, it's so funny. It's a, it's a Ford truck with a GM. GM engine. I guess General Motors owned uh, Detroit Diesel in these days. Anyways, so we're going to try to pull this cover off. Looks like it's just got the breather. I'm hoping it'll clear right here. It's pretty tight. So you can see it's barely got any room. You can barely fit your fingers in there. So worst case, I may have to take the exhaust pipe or loosen it at least. And then the two, uh, two main bolts. So let me get going on that. See if I can uh, crack that off real quick. And then, yeah, shouldn't be too much to uh, get the cover off and see what the uh, injectors are like. Okay, messed with the cover for about 10, 15 minutes. Ended up having to pull the exhaust pipe off. There's just two of these clamps. They're kind of welded on there, kind of uh, cor corroded on there. Then the two bolts, it's these two bolts, this short guy, then this longer one. This longer one went back here, in case you're putting one of these together. Let's see what it looks like. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's not a mess. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Here's the top of the uh, cylinder head. Okay, let me see if I could find some numbers and I'll either take some pictures or I'll uh, do another video. But overall, it looks really clean. It's nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. This is supposedly a low mile, low mile engine, so that's probably why. Okay, see ya. Okay, got the cover off, got the injector cleaned a little bit. Was able to find the uh, identification I guess it's a sticker. It's A9 or 9A90. Let me see if you can see it. It's right there. I'll put a picture in if it doesn't if it doesn't uh, focus. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Right there. Okay. So 9A90 comes out to 450 horsepower injectors. So it's the factory injectors because this is a 445 horse engine. So a lot of room to grow. Uh, I've seen injectors 500, 550, and 600 horsepower. Probably wouldn't do 600, um, probably do like 550s. So 100 over this. And then um, it has an after cooler underneath. This, this is the supercharger right here. There's an after cooler underneath, like about here. But the turbo goes straight into the blower right now. I don't know if you can see that. I have room for an, an air to air. So I may do an air to air later. But yeah, I guess everything looks all right under here. Um, gonna button it up and then it should be good. At least I know where we're starting at and then a lot of room to grow in the future. All right. Okay, so I thought I was done filming. I, pop I got the cover back on, everything's ready to go. I'm just gonna pop on the final, there's this exhaust crossover pipe that goes right to the turbo. That's the turbo right there. And it's funny because I've seen this since I've had the truck. It's always been like this and I've noticed, oh, there's a little pinhole right here. 
a little bit of exhaust is coming out. I was like, oh, no big deal. I'll fix it. I'll fix it eventually. You know, it's, it's, you really can't tell when it's running or whatever. And then when I went to put this back on, check this out. Whole thing is busted. It's going like almost a third away around the pipe. So I'm going to leave this off. I'm going to clean it up, throw a quick weld on there probably tomorrow, and then remount it. But uh, yeah, you never know what's hiding behind a pipe. It looks pretty much okay. Um, then you take it off and you got a much bigger problem. So I'll get it fixed up, no big deal. I got my welder over there. And then uh, hopefully I can save it. If not, I've seen these for sale, pretty cheap. But I'll try to fix this one and then run it for a little while. Uh, all right. See you guys later.